Okay guys, so just got in the computer, better put this coffee out of the way. Don't want to waterlog it like I did the last one. But this is replacing this computer. It's the same brand, Asus, in search of the incredible, of incredible. And uh, let's take it out of the box. I did buy a open box off Amazon. Um, the, I guess, brand new one was $200 more. I said, why not? This camera I'm talking to you on was an open box as well. I've been using it now for almost two years. So, let's open the box. When you open the already open box, it comes with a laptop. Power cord or power, power cord. Anything in here? Nothing in here. I guess this is the instructions. It's Windows 10. Whatever this is, looks like a speaker thingy. That's neat. And your power supply. So the last power supply plugged right into the uh, uh, wall with this cord, it'll allow you to plug in more things into your power strip versus the original. So that's nice. Once it's out of the box, let's look and see how it compares to the other one. Ooh, it feels thinner, sleeker and smoother. But one thing I do like about these uh, Asus uh, laptops is they're so easy to take apart if you need to expand them. And they are expandable with a little RAM. You can upgrade the hard drive. This came, this one right here came with a one terabyte hard drive. This one comes with a 2, this one comes with uh, 16 gigs of RAM, this one came with less, I, I think it's 8. I expanded this one to be 16, but uh, I took that RAM, um, I'm going to show you how I took that RAM out and also the hard drive. Because I want, I can't start this computer so I need to recover that information and put it on here. Okay, so... I'm back, it's been a few days, and uh, now I wanted to use the computer, make sure that uh, it did everything I needed to do, it to do, and I'll tell you what I do, so you can, if you do similar uh, things, this may be a great computer for you. So, let's go ahead and look at the outside of the computer. And one thing I don't like is this black really gets some fingerprints on it, so if you, if you don't like grubby prints everywhere. I would go with like a gray. That's what my last one was. And uh, there's less uh, smudges. So on this side you have a power button, the volume button, um, this uh, lightning connection, two USBs, and the HDMI. I don't like that the volume button is so small and also so close to the power button. Because I've been doing things and trying to turn up or down the volume, and I've turned off the computer a few times. <laughs> On this side, you have another USB, an SD card, uh, a lock something, and uh, your microphone or headset. So, and I'll, uh, this is also where you plug in the subwoofer they sent you. It's booming. <laughs> And uh, on the bottom here, this is actually um, aluminum. It's not plastic, so it's real good construction. 
you hear it hitting the granite there, it's metal. So one of the things I really like about these uh, two-in-one laptops is I can fold it all the way over like this and it will now function as a, I can use it just as a, a, a TV screen, so on the go, or I can actually plug another monitor into the HDMI slot with a keyboard and mouse, and now I have a dual, dual screen desktop. And uh, I've used it a lot in that, that scenario, and it's worked very well. Let's flip it back over, and let's log in. Okay, so you see I have the task manager here. I'm going to let it settle down because it just booted it up and then we're going to do a benchmark on it. Um, when you first get this, all the updates and things of that nature, you can't get a proper feel of the performance of the computer because it's just working and updating and doing all its rigmarole to get going. And then after it updated, I went through and I turned off things that I didn't want running. And I installed software that I use. I installed Plex Server, which right now is turned off for the benchmark. I installed uh, Sony Vega Pro, which is also turned off. And um, all the un unnecessary gaming and things like that that was running in the background. I removed that. So... Now let's uh, go ahead and run a benchmark. I use a uh, user benchmark and it works really well. You can go out to userbenchmark.com. Let me close this because your task, task manager does use resources. So, user benchmark. Run. And hopefully you can see that fairly well. The screen is very easy to read. Okay, and there you see it is all done. And not restore. And now let's look at the results. So the results of this PC is definitely not for gaming. Desktop, it's a yacht. Uh, workstation, it says it's a raft. A raft, not a raft. Is, this is a touch screen, so the big problem with this is your graphics card for gaming, which I'm not a gamer, and uh, your boot drive, which is not SSD. Performance, so it's running an Intel 7 uh, two-core processor, so it does fairly decent. This actually, uh, when I was doing the software for my videos, it was much faster than the last computer I had, and it worked fine. I was running uh, creating videos at 1080p. Your graphics card, of course, that's re reflective of a, not a gaming PC, and also the hard drive. The RAM, I have another uh, memory uh, stick that I'm probably going to stick in this, but it seemed to do fine right now, so I may not mess with it. And here is the uh, system memory uh, latency ladder. So we're doing pretty good then, blah. And there's games you can buy, I guess. So they have to advertise that keeps these, these sites running. And then it goes into gaming, of course, surfboard, desktop, here it says battleship. And then there's a workstation jet ski. So this seemed to work very well for me. It may not work for you.
Now let's go ahead and see how it sounds. I'm going to use one of my uh, wife's recipe videos. These are on all the uh, uh, more recent recipes on our blog. Go check it out, diningwithdanielle.com. So I'm going to look at, uh, let's see, one of my favorites. So, very good sound. This subwoofer, it's, it's amazing. It makes a, a good bit of bass for as little as it is. I was uh, impressed by that. And just the sound quality in general is really good. The inner, viewing this is great as well. I like that. Also, when I go on battery life, here it's fully charged. It has a good long battery life. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the battery down to leaf. So that is the best performance you can get out of the battery, minus doing some tweaking to uh, uh, change your screen uh, brightness and maybe uh, drop the processor usage per program or things like that. But this should give us the best performance. And it says our battery life should be 6 hours and 28 minutes, which is, I just did a battery test on this, run it down to 15%, and it looked like I was going to get about 3 hours out of it. So that might be a, a, a little bit of a stretch, but it was also doing updates and things like that, that nature. I was actually using the laptop while I was doing that. But let's go ahead and ensure that you can still play videos. So that will give you some great entertainment on the road. So if you like this video and this review, hit that like button. It's right down below. Also I've left a link for this laptop down below as well. So you can check that out. And you can also see other videos where I'm restoring the information off my old laptop and I show you how to take out the hard drive, things like that. If you are uh, like this channel, subscribe. Hit that uh, bell too to get the reminders. We're constantly doing new videos, DIYs, recipes, um, exploring, if we're doing Explore Florida right now, travel series. Uh, just a number of things. We're also restoring an old boat right now in the garage. If you're uh, looking for great recipes, check out diningwithdanielle.com. It's at the bottom of all our videos, and also Chris does what? It does go at the same spot, but Dining with Danielle takes you straight to the recipes and the yummy goodness. And uh, y'all, please take care.